What's up guys, Ali Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 16 of my NBA 2K15 My Career on the PS4 with your boy Sniper Jones. Today will be an exciting episode, you see we're going to come out here, start off strong and throw up this ooh to our boy Dwayne Wade, he is flying through the air, doing the right hand windmill slam off the oop, getting some massive air on that one, I mean you really got to get up high to get a windmill on that alley oop, so beautiful play by him right there, and so I'm just really excited to finally be back in this, you know. Uh, my career and just video posting in general has been something that's kind of calmed down in the past couple of weeks uh, just due to me being really busy and me just trying to find times and little seams and stuff like that of time where i can actually post a video and that's just been difficult to do but luckily it is the weekend now and that basically just enables me to be able to post um basically as much as i want as long as i can prepare videos for you guys so right here we got this uh, nba micro ready and we got we got the uh, ball over to Luol Deng, who's going to give us that assist. Luol Deng gave us a lot of assists this game. And you guys will notice how the game goes on. That Deng was finishing his shots really well, and that was really helpful. Sniped. That's right there. We drained the three. All up, I believe, in MCW's face. Somebody was trying to play defense on us right there. But it did not work out for them, because we just sniped him right in the face. And then right here, we are going to take that one in the paint with a layup. Today was a pretty cool game for me, uh, because you see that I'm just kind of running around, and you'll see me do some pretty ridiculous layups. Uh, kind of going them high off the backboard, kind of like Steph Curry-esque uh, layups. So it's, it's a pretty interesting game, pretty cool, kind of changing my play style a little bit, it seems. I, I kind of drove in the paint a little bit more this game than I normally do, and it's been successful, especially this pick and rolls. I've been getting a lot better at them. Uh, you see right there, Noel did not play well off me off the roll, and then right here, I just chucked the ball way off the top of the backboard, and it manages to go in. So that's kind of the example I was trying to play uh, where I was talking about how I threw it high off the backboard. And then right here, I'm going to destroy this guy on the fake spin around and then dunk all over Joel Embiid. Look, he doesn't even know what happened. He's got to throw his arms up in the air because he's confused as to how he just got dunked on so bad by a guy who's only six foot four. Uh, beautiful dunk by my guy right there. But I actually have some interesting news because I am already in playoffs. So yes, I know I'm spoiling the surprise, even though there really shouldn't be one at this point. But this team will manage to make playoffs. And something I just really wanted to talk about is that I'm really hoping to start pushing for the series to, to go quicker because, like I said, I'm already in playoffs. I don't even believe I'm at the all-star break yet in this, in the real, like, posting. Um, so I'm really going to try to start posting my career more and just trying to get caught up and kind of bring you guys to the playoff time too. just get everything all put together and then just kind of get everything, hopefully everything lined up for off-season and all that good stuff. And that's just kind of the idea. Now, I haven't really planned it all out in terms of posting, but I'm going to try to start editing more videos with this. And hopefully get some videos ready to post and show you guys. So that's kind of the idea behind that. You actually see today I'm not going to be doing a live commentary as well. And I kind of enjoy not doing live commentary sometimes because it gives me an opportunity to talk to you. And not only that, but the editing process is much easier because rather than focusing on the whole team effort, when I'm just doing these normal commentaries to you, you basically just see plays that directly relate to my player stats. For example, I'm not going to show a play that doesn't really affect me at all. As of my career and as of my player, I really just want to show plays that affect me individually. And then uh, for, you know, commentaries that are more broad where I'm talking live to you guys, I just I just basically cut out uh, anything that's not interesting. So it kind of, doing stuff like this kind of allows me to show you guys more clips. So I'm kind of enjoying this type of commentary. That's up to you guys though. If you enjoy the live commentaries more, make sure to tell me that down below. I know for the future, a lot of, uh, I didn't do a lot of live commentaries for the future, so for the most part, this is my career. We'll have a lot of commentaries that aren't uh, live, but as you see right there, we were just up 77 to 70, and through that quick transition eclipse, we are down 85 to 77. So the 76ers just went on a 15 to 0 run. So we don't know how that happened, but the 76ers came out of nowhere and just went on a crazy push. And right now we're down by 10, which is two and a half left. So needless to say, we basically just trashed the whole game sniped we basically just trashed the whole game through a 15 to 0 run in the fourth quarter how do we give up a 15 to 0 run in the fourth quarter to the philadelphia 76ers that's such an embarrassing thing for our team now at this point i'm still trying to gather some type of rhythm i'm still trying to get a feel for how my teammates play right there you see i'm gonna get my 10th rebound in the game and eventually that will lead me to get my triple double i think one of my first triple doubles of the year and Luol Deng is going to miss that wide open mid range. So that kind of describes the story of the game. We weren't able to knock down the open shots when we had to. Even though I'm going to dunk all over, I believe, MCW right here. No, it's Embiid again. Embiid's getting dunked on from all over the place. I dunked on him twice this game. Uh, so although we did push pretty well, we weren't able to hit our open shots. And that's going to result in us losing the game. So sadly, we walk out of here with the loss. Eight point deficit. Eight point loss, I should say. 
saddening loss right there. I'm going to show you guys the box score to finish off this game. If you guys enjoyed, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and why I can make it more interesting in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on my channel. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.